<laughs> and the easiest way to start is to take Hendrix clip and drag it onto the timeline. And that will do all your settings. As you can see, there's Henrik with the green screen. Hello, GHS. And you listen to it just to make sure it's there so you can see what's going on. Then you're going to bring the introduction in and you put that in. Slide the two clips together. <clears throat> and lift up the uh, Henrik drag that file up because you need to put the weather background as the background underneath Henrik. And we don't need this audio track for the background and select it, click unlink, click on the audio and delete it. Drag the audio file or the background underneath Henrik. We see Henrik. Next, you're going to use what's called Ultra Key, and this will be like your Chroma Key, get out the green screen. Click on Effects in your bin on the left-hand side there, and type in Ultra. And easy enough, all you do is you click on the text and drag it on top of the video. On the left-hand side, this is your Effects box. This is where you change the effects. This is where you can um, make changes to your video. So drag down the uh, show more of the box. There's ultra key. You're going to use the eyedropper to pick the color of green you want the computer to get rid of. So you click on the eyedropper and you have a really dark spot and you have a really light spot. You want to find a spot, a color that's kind of in the middle and is across most of the page. And so once you do that, Go back over to the drop down and click aggressive, and that will make it a little aggressive on how much it keys out. And there you go, we see Henry talking, we can see that it's working. Is of the weather video is off, so we need to select it and then click on the effect controls and you underneath motion. You can change the location or the position, and you can drag those left or right. You can also change the scale, which is the size, how large it is. And you just click and drag on the numbers, and it will make it bigger or smaller. And you're going to scale it up and just make sure it looks like it fits. Now that we've got that, we want to trim the background video so it matches the length and we're going to add the music now for the introduction i'm going to play it i like to play and listen get a feel for it Friday, and there you go, period. you can see that you can't hear Henrik very well over the music, so we're going to need to adjust that. I'm going to zoom out so that I can trim down the length of the music clip. Right here, I'm going to have it go to finish just after he starts talking. So that we can kind of fade it out underneath him. You click on the gray lines on the tracks on the left-hand side so that you can make them larger and you can see the volume controls. I'm gonna trim it down at the beginning so there's a little less um, dead air or no audio. I'm gonna trim it down a little bit at the end. And that music, you want it to be at negative 12. And you'll see here, you want it to be at negative 12 side on the volume meter and you can see it's way below that so we're going to stop and adjust it there you go you see it's pretty consistently at negative 12 that's a good volume let it play through and then here Henrik's going to come on so we want the music to start to fade so if you press control put your mouse on the volume bar you get a plus sign and if you click on that you get these 
buttons. They're called keyframes, and they let you individually control at that point what's going on. Hello, GHS. It's Friday. It's a little harsh on the fade. Third period. In, but nine weeks ends today. You either turn in your work or you didn't. If you did, good job. Hope okay. Now, Henrik is a little loud, so we want to Hopefully took the nine adjust weeks seriously. his volume. Good grades. And there we go. If you didn't, looks you like look, you take you time right yourself and negative that 12. to watch the whole thing again, make sure it works. Okay, at the end, there's one frame of the anchors, and so I'm going to trim that down one frame. Make sure you're saving, Control S. Next, we want to export. So you click on, there's two ways. First, you can click on the export button in the upper right-hand corner, click on the blue title for the story title, and choose where it goes. Make sure you're getting it into the GTV weather folder you created, and change the title to GTV weather. You press export. Other way is Make sure that the sequence, the box, the blue box, is selected around the sequence. You can see that it's exported there. You want the blue box selected around the sequence. Click File, click Export, and then Media. As you see, if you press Control M, it'll do the same thing. And then you get this dialog box. Click on the blue title for your story. Navigate, go to your desktop, your Interpret Communications and GTV Weather. And change this to GTV Weather if you want to do it this way. I'm putting it GTV Weather 2 because there's two files and it'll get upset if I do it. And then you click on Export. You've now exported. We're going to minimize Premiere Pro. We're going to go to our folder where we have GTV Weather. One thing I want you to notice here is you're going to go to Google Drive. My Google Drive, I have more folders, but I'm going to go to where I have my Introduction to Communications folder. I have my Communications folder, so I need to drag that clip here. Now you need to make sure that you're bringing in the right file type. If you put your mouse, leave it hover over it, it says .mp4 file, video file. This one, if you leave it over the other one, it says Premiere Pro Project File. And so you want to make sure that you're getting the right file in there. You click and drag that over. You don't want the thumbnail that looks like Premiere Pro. Okay, once it's uploaded, you're going to go back. You're going to start your assignment on Canvas. Click on this Google Drive here, the one on the left. And you click on that. And you begin uploading and turning in your story.